Yo, Bucko, it's Zero, coming back to you with another figure review. And today we have the long-awaited Mandalorian, a.k.a. Din Djarin. And, ooh, this is a sexy figure. I I got stuck with the carbonized um, base Mandalorian, and I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really like how the first... I mean, the first Mandalorian figure is really cool, but I... I don't know, I don't like the carbonized one, and now that I have the carbonized one for over a year now, um, the other one just looks weird to me, the original one, so I'm finally glad to have a Beskar version of the armor, and I feel like it's taken me forever to actually get this, and I've had it for weeks now and have not opened it, but what better time to open it than during the week of the Mandalorian season finale, so... We're going to crack this Beskar baby open in a second, but let's take a look at this box first. So yeah, the front of the box, you got Star Wars, The Mandalorian, and then The Mandalorian, if you couldn't tell already. Side of the box, pretty sexy. Back of the box, he is number one. And I actually have most of the figures from this set, so let me go bust some of them out real quick to show you what the side looks like and here's as good as the side of the box that I can get for you um this is one through four but my armor which I have not opened yet is the PulseCon exclusive so it doesn't really line up here but that's what one through four is and then number five is Din Djarin with the it's Din Djarin that comes with uh, the child and the removable helmet, which I may or may not be picking up because I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really need it. And then 6, 7, and 8 are all coming out. Yeah, Moff Gideon, Quill, and Grief. Um, don't know when the hell I'll get be getting those, but whatever. And then number 9 is the Revenant Stormtrooper, so... I have most of these figures in this set. <laughs> but anyways, going back to the back of the box. Again, he is number one. It says, The Mandalorian. His body is shielded by Beskar armor. His face is hidden behind a T-visored mask, and his past is wrapped up in mystery. No one is quite sure who this well-equipped stranger is. I'm actually curious what the original release this box says. So, this is my original release carbonized box. Pretty beat to shit, so I was able to get it for pretty cheap, actually. Yeah, he was number 94. And then, his body is shielded by Beskar armor. His face is hidden behind a T-visored mask. His past is wrapped in mystery. Mandalorian is well-worn and tight-lipped, a formidable bounty hunter in an increasingly dangerous galaxy. Yeah, it's a little different. It's a little different, but yeah. This is beat the shit. Let's get this out of here. It's a cool box, though. But we're here for this, and we're going to crack this baby open. And here is Beskar Boy out of the packaging. And before we get into this mold, and we're going to also compare this a little bit too. But before we get into this mold, let's talk about his accessories because he's got some bangers. First accessory, we got the IB-94 Blaster Pistol. Yeah, it's the same exact one that comes with the original release, except the carbonized one is sh actually... Yeah, the carbonized one is a little shinier, so I'm not going to show that off, but yeah, this one is stupid nice. Um... I really like the design of this. It's like, you know, cowboy western kind of thing. Very nice paint apps. And then that goes ahead and holsters right into here. Pop this bad baby open, if it'll let me. There you go. Ah, holster! Alright, and that holster's right into there. That's one thing I gotta give credit for for this for both these Mandalorian figures is they have the ability to store their weapons, which not a lot of figures have. So I really like that feature for both these guys, because it's always a plus when you can actually, you know, enjoy the weapons 
being on someone and not having to throw them in a bin or something if they're not in the guy's hand. Moving on to his second accessory, this is a fan favorite. Um, it's one of my favorites, I love the design of this thing. Also, a rest in peace. It's the Ambam Phase Pulse Blaster Rifle. And, oh my gosh, this thing is sexy. Yeah, we were first introduced to this in the Christmas special with Boba. But, that didn't stick around with him. But it did end up on Mando, and... I couldn't be happier about that. Yeah, this thing is beautiful. I mean, this is one of my favorite, favorite weapons that any character comes with in the Black Series. I mean, this thing is iconic. It's beautiful. Rest in peace. But the thing I love more about it is it stores on his back. Now, there's two ways to do it. You can either just stick it in this peg hole or line up this with that, there you go. Yeah, it's kind of obnoxious, but it's fine. I know a lot of people complain about this, but I have no problem with that. But yeah, that's what I love about this, these figures is they store all their weapons, and I couldn't be happier about that. But what I'm really confused about is how this, how this is gonna work with this last accessory. Because the last accessory is his jetpack, which, again, rest in peace. Actually, did he leave it? I don't know. I don't know if he did or if he grabbed it or whatever. But either way, this is pretty nice sculpt. Um, I wish it was a little more silver because it doesn't really match up with his armor. But there, there are ways to fix that. But. I'm not too sure. Now, the real problem is, how does this go with the cape? Because obviously, where's, where's the cape with the jetpack? Now that, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out something for that. Um, yeah, that's going to have to... Uh, that's annoying. Yeah, that's going to be a pet peeve for now. <laughs> probably gonna have to get a cloth good cape for this guy because yeah it's not fun <laughs> could that work uh it's uh it's a little mm, uh, uh, no no yeah I, I don't know how this is gonna work maybe like this i, I uh, this annoys me so much because yeah if you have it over the shoulder it looks weird Oh my gosh, I really don't know with this. Obviously, you're not going to be able to put this on there, either. I mean, maybe you could, if you really wanted to have... Hold on. No, you really couldn't. <laughs> I tried, but... Yeah, yeah, you definitely need, like, a cloth good cape or something for this one, because this is not going to help it work. I mean, uh... Uh, uh, no, uh, uh, no. God, come on, I gotta figure out something. Yeah, that, that's as good as we're gonna do with this jetpack. This is one of those that, like, really needed uh, cloth goods, so definitely gonna have to buy a cloth goods cape for this at some point. Probably right now. And also, with the jetpack, you get the peg holes just like Django. So you can do this, take the Iron Man, blast effects, and oh my god, that looks good. Woo! Get him in a flying pose or something, and oh man, that would look tight. Woo! We're gonna have to play around with that later. Alright, now it's time to show off this figure just a little bit. First, show both these, and I want to talk about something real quick, so... I, if you noticed on this figure, or on the original one at least, he has this armor right here. So that's pretty much the same thing. Well, he's missing the blue triangle, but yeah, that's pretty much the same armor as, same exact piece as the Scarif Trooper. And then hand piece, uh, not so much, but 
I think you get where I'm going at with this. It's very similar. Also, this piece is the same exact thing. So I'm wondering if he was a Imperial at some point due to recent events from Episode 7. It would make a lot of sense. Um, that's a theory for another time, though. <laughs> but, yeah. That aside, obviously, from the waist down, it's the same exact figure. Um, yeah, pretty much from torso down, it's the same exact figure. Um, but torso up, brand new, everything. You got all the best car. I mean, the helmet's the same mold, but just cleaner. <laughs> Same cape, which the cape annoys me a lot. <laughs> Let me be honest with you. Yeah, definitely gonna need a cloth goods for him. And then you have your little signet right here. Where you got your little mud horn signet. That's a really good detailing. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you right now though. The biggest difference between these two is that there's one thing that this has over him and that's his gaunt this gauntlet moves which is really hard to show off on camera yeah the gauntlet moves here but this gauntlet does not move so that's w the only thing I'd say this figure has over the other one yeah so of course you got the different armor back is slightly different obviously there's no jetpack peg <laughs> and that's about it in terms of differences now get him out of here probably won't be seeing much of him on this channel anymore unfortunately he's been replaced he'll still look good on the shelf though getting a little more into this figure yeah he's got see it's pretty much the same color under pieces, but now instead of all the brown and metal, it's a uh, like kind of battle damage. It's almost all chrome except for brown, brown, brown. Yeah, it's a lot of honestly. If this got carbonized, I might be willing to buy it because hell, shinier Beskar, why not? <laughs> Or hell, if this is even like chrome or something. Oh my god, that would be awful. But yeah, I'd probably end up buying that. Thanks, Hasbro, for all the repaints. Let's move on to the articulation. So under here, which is there a head in there? There is not. I don't think. Unless it's glued. It looks like there could be a head in there. Eh, maybe I'm tripping. But anyways, starting with articulation, the neck moves separately, so that's a little bit of articulation to have over the old figure. And then that goes up into a ball joint in the head, which you're not getting a ton of movement out of that. But uh, I feel like this is a little better than the old mold. Or the old... Actually, does he... The old one does have it, so that's not really anything different there. Then you have a hinge and swivel at the shoulder, of course. And this armor is kind of rubber, so that's good. Am I going to fuck around with it? No. That's one thing that that has over this one, is it? Oh, never mind. It could do the same thing, but... Well, I was wrong. Again. <laughs> I feel like these are a little more durable than the other one though. Then you have a single jointed elbow. And then, yeah. No wrist swivel, or no gauntlet swivel. And then the wrists, hinge and swivel at the wrist. And then that hinge and swivel goes, that hinges in and out. And the other side hinges up and down for aiming purposes and some of the paint is starting to come off maybe it's like that I don't know 
not a big deal. Then you have a ball joint at the torso. You actually get a really good range of movement out of that. And then the legs go forward that much, back that much. Then you have the thigh swivels, as usual, for most of these. <laughs> then you have a double jointed knee, thank god, because they've been getting rid of those lately. Uh, he cannot kick his own ass, and I don't feel like breaking it today. What about the other side? Can he? Nope, cannot. Okay. Then you have no boot swivel, but you have a hinge at the ankle and a forward facing pin for rocker. Alright, and it's about that time. Let's go to the 360 view of this guy. Alright, now it's time to show him off next to some other figures. For starters, here he is next to Boba and Cara Dune. And here he is next to A&H Lord Vader and the Remnant Stormtrooper. And here he is next to IG-11, Sabine, and the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. And as always, here he is next to Luke Skywalker Squawker. Um, overall, great figure. I love the, I loved the original Mandalorian figure, and this is no different. I think I like this one a little more, honestly. Well, a lot more, let's be honest. But seriously, the only thing I don't like about this figure is the cape, just like the other ones. So I'm definitely going to need to pick up Cloth Goods one at some point because I'm not sure how I'm going to display this, but I wanted to display it with the jetpack originally. But yeah, it's not going to work with that cape. Other than that, great figure. Good luck finding it, though because it's the Mandalorian, scalpers want it, everyone wants it, the kids want it, the parents want to buy it for the kids, the scalpers want to sell it to the parents so they can give it to the kids, the collectors want the Mandalorian, yeah. Good luck finding this one, um, I've never seen, he's one of the few figures I've never seen in the wild, but if you can find him, don't pass him up, and as always, you can bring him in warm, or you can bring them in cold. Thanks for watching and good hunting. This is the way. <laughs>